Hello everyone, my name is Shannon Crossing and welcome back to another YouTube video. Sorry my hair's a bit wet, I've just had a hair wash. But I wanted to do this today because I'm going on a two night vacation just up North Devon. So that's why I'm doing this video now. So today's video is about... Mother's Day, so. Um, Mother's Day will be coming up soon. By the time I've uploaded this video, it'll be two days. I upload this on the Friday, and it's on the 10th, the Sunday, unless you are from like America. Other countries where I think it's in May, where this can be useful for you as well. So here is 10 ideas for crochet projects that you can do for Mother's Day, for your parents. Whether you have a mum, a grandma, a carer, anyone, you just want to celebrate Mother's Day or just Mothering Sunday with. So, also, I wanted to add this month is going to be mainly just crochet videos, as I've heard back from Curry's, the place that I got my laptop and it's like £75 to get my laptop checked and hopefully done but then I need to pay like £30 for the battery so it's like over £100 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save some money this month and some money next month when I get paid and um, I can, you know, fingers crossed, get my laptop fixed and then I can do some more gaming videos. I do want to intertwine gaming and crochet so maybe one day I'll do a gaming related crochet video but at the moment I can't do that so Anyways, back to the point of the video. So, Mother's Day. The first one, I'm also I'm not going to put pictures up here because, um, well, mainly this um, video is inspired by Amazing Page. Um, you should check out their channel. Um, they're really good. I'm saying they, them, I don't know their pronouns. But, uh... They've done, like, they do 50 and stuff like that, which has inspired me to make this 10, because I can't think of 50 at the moment. And I've got to do this video pretty quickly. <laughs> but basically, I want, um, I can't put the photos up because some of their videos have been taken down. I think one because of a photo, but I don't really fancy mine getting taken down. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to do a Pinterest or maybe... I can do like a little community tab post of all of the, like the pictures on YouTube maybe. I don't know. We'll see. A Google Doc maybe. But yeah, and then I could do little get like little links to everything. But yeah, um so one of the main things on Mother's Day is obviously flowers. Um I've made my mum a rose, so like a little rose. I haven't done the stem, I'm just going to do a little rose. But there's quite a lot of um, flowers that you can crochet. Like, I think you can crochet every single flower. I've seen so much. Some of them are very, like, hard because they're very small. But I feel like, especially a rose, if you've kind of got... I think it's kind of beginner-friendly. Because if you've got the hang of doing a cr single crochet, double crochets and treble crochets, you're pretty good. And that's all you really need to do. And sewing as well, just sew in the middle and that's fine. That's pretty much the whole entire thing. I'll kind of put the tutorial down below that I used. Um, there's some tulips that I've seen as well. Um, what other ones? There's some daisies that I've seen, loads of different things for Mother's Day, loads of different flowers, just whatever flower is your mum's favourite. Um, also one thing for the second thing, 
for the Mother's Day crochet ideas is I don't know about your mum but my mum really likes coffee she loves coffee so maybe you could like make them a little like placemat a little mat you know oh, I'm forgetting the name a little like mat for their tea their coffee or um this is like the third thing so you could do the little mat um you can also make flower ones i've seen people do flower ones as well um coasters that's what they're called came to mind um i would also think that especially if your mum is on the go a lot like they have like not a stanley cup but you know like the cheaper versions <laughs> that i can afford um basically have one of those cozies you can crochet on and it kind of goes around the like the travel cup and then it's not too hot cold to oh too hot to hold another thing that you could crochet for your mum is probably some stuff that you'd probably think about crocheting on valentine's day for your partner so like um, heart stuff, um, you could kind of do, kind of like I've got up there, but hearts hanging off of it, maybe, or flowers, um, what other things could you do, um, uh, what other stuff do mums like, teddies, you could do a teddy, that's good. I did a teddy for my mum. It was like a freehand one, so not that good. But <laughs> it's um, quite good. Um, another thing that you could make as well is maybe a teddy with a love heart. Or maybe something that they like. So like, say if they like Disney, you could make them a Dis something Disney related. Um, another thing you could make for your mum, it really depends on the age of your mum, really, of what you really make for them. I mean, mainly when it comes to Mother's Day, it's flowers. So you could make them like a flower car hanging thing, but I know that in the highway code, it tells you not to put stuff on the little hanging mirror because it's classed as a distraction. Um, you could make some other things as like um, coasters, but they're like tulips. I've seen them before where um, I think I saw Amazing Page do it, where you've got like a um, succulent, which you can do that as well, like the pot. And then they have like different uh, coasters and when you fold them up, they turn into a flower and like a bit bunch of flowers and then when you take it apart again it's a load of coasters which i thought was pretty cool maybe you could make your, your mum that if you want another thing is if your mum's into makeup you can make them a makeup bag or kind of like a foldable makeup bag so you can kind of like estimate how big the brushes are gonna be so kind of like you would with art so if you open it i think i've got something here like it to, uh, kind of like this so you open it up and then you kind of got this but it's kind of like the um brushes where the brushes would be so you can kind of you could do that for your mum if they like um makeup or art, you can do that if they like art, or you can do another one if they like crochet stuff, hopefully. Um, and then you can make them some aragurumi plushies if they like different plushies. You could also, if your mum's into sports, you can make them like a sweatband or sweat wristband. Um, I don't know how good that would be with wool <laughs> i'm not sure um but yeah uh i don't know how many things i've actually said i didn't really list them from one to ten um i'll just say ideas instead of saying a number of ideas because i don't know how many i've said 
you can also especially well not this close to um uh mother's day but say if you had a couple of day a couple of weeks before you could make them a cardigan which is pretty cute or a bag a little handbag tote bag there's loads of stuff i mean the only person that really knows what to buy their own mum is their kids so you know it's up to you what you make them this isn't a thing where you have to make certain things for your parents or your mum make whatever they like but yeah um i think that's pretty much the end of this video if you did enjoy this type of video i know i do ramble on a bit i don't really get to the point so quickly but yeah thank you so so much for watching and i shall see you all in the next video next week bye shillings bye bye